Hello everyone, this is Mad Hair Patrick, and we're back with Mad Hair Patrick playing Undertale Part 8. Where we last let yours truly, I ended up on a dating game with Papyrus, and thank goodness I'm no longer on a date with him because he is not my type. Now I'm saving my heart for the ladies. Yeah, but I had a slight talk with Sand and check around the town for a bit. So now I'm ready to press forward. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like I. Who is she? Okay. This is. Wait, this is the Echo Flower? This is the. I should save this in case I have to come back here later. Let's hang out again sometime. You are. This is a box. You can put it on it. Box hater. Hmm. I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. Rush. There's a camera behind the waterfall. Hmm. Interesting. There's a tit two two line here. Will we take it? Yeah, maybe I'll come in handy. Hey, it's my shadow. Huh? Papyrus, what are you doing here? Hi, under nine. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I call. You about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. Well, what? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, you know, under nine. But in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But under nine, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Huh? Hmm. Looks like we got ourselves a Shadow Knight, people. Hey, it's you! Yo, did you see that? She was staring at you. That... That was awesome! I'm so jealous! Where are you gonna get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat some bad guys. But she wants to get rid of me. Hmm. When four bridges bridge sees a line, and they will sprout. How do I put them down? Okay. 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 I gotta form a bridge. Is Aaron is that supposed to be a seahorse? What?
There's a sign. What does it say? I can't reach. Well, that came out wrong. I guess I... Alright. Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's a reset belt. If the earth... No. That's not it. That's more like it. Hello? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did you get my- get this number? Uh, you gave me your number. It was easy. I just died. I, I, uh, where, I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a gross bandage. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Yeah, I don't have a gross bandage. So you aren't wearing a gross... Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Hmm. Wishing room. Grab a dub. A telescope. Cool. Pretty. <laughs> the War of Humans and Monsters. Why did humans attack? Indeed, it seems they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to to equal the power. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, is the strength of their soul. It allow its power allows the it allows it to persist outside the human body even after the death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take the soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfailing power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Guess there's no turning back now. <gasps> you! 
Ah! Wah! Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Ah! No! Gotta get out of here now. Did they get away from him? <sighs> uh oh. Huh? That's not me. Thanks, little buddy. Huh? Why did I stop? Oh, you. Yo, do you see that? Yeah, you know, Unnine just touched me. I'll never wash my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. It's, we're gonna stand just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal growing around. Okay. I'm gonna keep moving forward. Hey, Sans! I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally... But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How about it? A red dot? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Aging? Hey, it's you, the vendor guy. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice you can take a punch card from the box. If you have free cards, you get to trade them for free night card. Yes, please. Thanks. Hmm. Hey, a duck! This place is beautiful! Hmm. Not to mention, this is also a maze. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Yeah, I sent... It, I have a strange feeling that these are going to come into play, unless it's one of those, those health energy bars. Hello, this is Pirate. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion is very easy. Murdery. Well, don't worry not, you will never betray you. You say you are not wearing a gross bandage.
uh, things, I guess. <laughs> nope. I can't deal with this. What's this? How are... Hmm. What is that? Who are you? An octopus? Hey there! Notice you were here. I'm Onion Sins. Onion Sins, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! Yeah, even though the water is getting shallow here, I had to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay! It beats moving the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. It's nice. Mind if we talk once we reach the end? You hear? Unnine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Okay. You really? Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! Okay. Yeah. 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 What a nice creature. Treasure? Count me in. A haunted song echo. Hunting song echoes really long. Only the first eight are fine. The first eight. Hmm, I I need a coach for this. When the monster die, it's on this here. Boss monster? Well, you mean like with Toral in Saint Papyrus? Excuse me. Statue. I'll try. Please take one. Take an umbrella. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Okay. Man, Unline is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> so, you're a fan of her. How long do you know her? Huh? So, one time, you know, we had school project where we take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered 
to donate his own flowers, he ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Unnine then came to school? Cause she could beat up all the teachers. Huh, maybe she wouldn't beat up teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. You mean like me? Ah. Uh, look at that castle. Yeah. I always knew this game was like Alice in Wonderland, and I can confirm it. We're in the Magic Kingdom. And we're still going. Yo, this leech is way too steep. Turn the umbrella. Yo, want to see Unnine Ray? Flame on my shoulder. Okay. Thanks, but what about you? You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll find my way through. Okay, be careful. Okay, this looks like a good place to stop. So, thank you for watching Mad Hatter Patrick Plays Undertale Part 8. And... Stay tuned for part 9, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to bell a 9 and for real this time. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe me for my gaming channel. And as, rem and as always, be sure to check out my original channel, Mad Hair Patrick, to see me review any anime, movies, TV shows, and, the vi and video games, which in the future I will review Undertale. So, once again, see you soon.